step one is you have to push. So it's it's real simple. You just I'm gonna I'm gonna push with my right leg. So you just push out, and if I'm gonna turn to my left, I'll see if I can. There's a there's a th little area on the floor here. It's hard to, but I'll give it a try. You push. So if I'm gonna turn to my left, you give it a push with your left foot. And that's basically it. So the step one, that's step one. So we're gonna be turning to our right. So this foot comes up and comes down. Now, watch what happens here. When this push, when I push off and this foot comes down, see how that foot's automatically on an angle? Because this foot is going to be pointing in the direction in which I want to turn. And the same thing with if I'm going to the left. If I'm, I push off and then put my foot down into onto an angle. All right, so one more time. I push off and put it down onto an angle. You see this foot positioning here? You see how, see how my, my knees are sort of bent? And I have sort of like this, uh, how does one say, sort of like a martial arts type of crouch. You know, you're sort of in, in like a, almost like a V stationary position. Well, the same thing on the other side. When you push out, you want to be sort of almost in this kind of position. But the idea is in step three is you want to start really pushing see how I'm almost turning like this with my foot you want to start leaning and pushing over and getting on this sort of axis this or rather this circular turn and the same thing here so push off push down and I'm pushing on an angle to the center of my turn so the knee comes sort of comes in you don't have to do this, but this is this helps. But definitely on the leading foot on the inside, you definitely want to guide that foot with the knee. This part of step three is you want to use your oblique muscles to to help turn you in this small confined space. So you know when you sort of do this, it could be like a lot of people do this as an exercise at the gym or just like a warm up exercise. You know you use your oblique muscles and your abdominal muscles to turn into just to turn well that's the same thing you're doing here on this turn so when you push off push down now I'm using this whole I can feel this whole section of muscle this whole uh, core uh, region of my abdominals to put to turn my torso and to t and my knee into the circular uh, into the circle rather or circular momentum is what I'm trying to say down and then now I'm really I'm almost it's like I'm guiding with my torso you can see this section here I push off and I and now I'm really turning and I'm almost like pushing my heel out so the other way the same thing too I turn and so again See this center region here, almost in like a, almost like if you could see a center down here, and here's a circle. Here's the center, and I'm pulling it in around in a circle. The same thing here on the other side. You can see here's the section, here's the circle, and here's the center, and I'm almost pivoting in a circle. Well, that's what you want to do, essentially, is when you turn around, you want to really pull this toe forward, this toe this way, and the heel this way. Don't do this fast, you might fall. So be careful about this. You push down, around, use your torso. And in step four, you really pull this heel out. Get that heel over. And that will really help you turn the small confined space. So push, down, torso. Sorry. Push, down, torso, and heel. Now back to a comment on step two is when you first come down, this is, this is a good step here to learn because it will help you get into thinking into this directional turn. So, but, it's, but in regards to making it work, work smoothly, I would say now the final step in step five is you want to, you don't want to sort of 
B in a V now, you want to be where your toes are both at least facing forward. And the reason why I'm, I'm adjusting this last step is because in step two, you wanted to get used to the balance. Okay, so now you're used to the balance. Now you want to get, now that you're flowing with it a little bit, it is now flowing, you're moving, you're getting used to the trick. Now you want to have your toes facing the same direction. So push and see how my toes, when I, my toes come down, once more, when my toes come down, my toes are sort of almost facing the same direction as opposed to the V. The V in the beginning is just to say, okay, now I'm getting used to that feeling. And this direction too, see here how my toes, one is this way and one is this way as opposed to being like this. So now you're going to form that circle, push, toes down, torso, and pull out heel. And, and keep, bringing, keep bringing your torso at the final. You can even use your arms too if you want. And that's basically about it. And then you can get creative with it. You can push your heels around as such. Uh, there's other things you could do. You could do like an eagle turn where you, you could turn like this, which would be a completely different tutorial. But what I'm basically doing is I'm using my torso to push down in a circular momentum. So from this side to my body to this side. Now if we're going this direction, it's from this side to this foot. One, my right foot to the left foot. And I'm using my arms to assist. And that's it. So happy skating and good luck.